milk tea, 75% sweet with one shot of caramel. Just how you like it. It's almost like muscle memory, the way you turn around and sit just where the sun hits. I know what you like. That's why, when he walks in with curly black hair and that stupid smile, I know that you like him too. I should just let you go, let you finally live your life the way you've always dreamt of. Let you be happy. But every time I see you, I feel the need to keep you within reach to see what you're doing each day, to love you, even when we're worlds apart. I tried my hardest to bury that thought down, six feet under, but it always awakens. And he can't have you because I, I need you. And that thought is so greedy. You deserve all the happiness, but I feel like I deserve you. I want you to still love me the same, love me to the point where I'm irreplaceable, need me the same, even though I can never be yours again. I wonder if his hands are warmer, if you think your name sounds better when he says it. I wonder if his gaze lingered a little longer the day you guys met, scientifically making you forget me. I wonder if I'm replaceable. I remember we were lying on your bed, and you told me about how the world consists of many realities, how lucky we are to be in the same one, how lucky we were. And later on, I promise I'll smile when I see you smile, even if it's for him, because he looks so perfect. He looks kind. He looks like everything you're looking for. I wonder if my death shattered you in any way, if you still call up my number out of habit, forgetting the fact you've been wearing black since last June. I wonder when you'll stop wearing black. Maybe in another reality far away, you'll be mine to keep. We won't be forced to part before we finish writing our story. I hope he's able to find and mend all the shattered pieces of your heart. Even if some were left right where I left you. In June. At the accident site along with the ghost of me. Thank you.